Horses are on the track for race 12. This is the first elimination division for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings seeking to reach the $60,000 Illinois State Fair Championship to be contested this coming Thursday afternoon. Takes a top two finish to be guaranteed a spot in the final. Two third place finishers to be drawn by lot. No changes in race 12. Let's meet the starters for this trifecta race. Number one, Diamond Man, owned by Shirley Levin, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, and Brian Penske Stable Incorporated. Brian is the trainer. Dave McGee is the driver. Two is Bobby's Bar, owned by Robert Haddad of Glendale Heights, Illinois. Nelson Willis trains, and Brent Holland is in the bike. Three is Fox Valley Riff, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Tony Alanya, the trainer. Dale Heitman, the driver. Four is Bombed Out, owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Five is Red Hot Chili Dog, owned by Jim and Donna Krebs of Cantrell, trained by Jim Krebs, Tony Morgan, the driver. Six is QC Connection, owned by Duke Johnston and Ciara Stable of Hinsdale, Illinois, and owned by Neil Silverman, trained by Tom Harmer with Andy Miller in the bike. Number seven, Big Green Machine, owned by Jay Ingram of Davenport, Iowa, Tex Motes, the trainer, and Eric Ledford, the driver. And number eight is New Age Outlaw, owned by John Leahy, by Anderson Racing Incorporated, and by Jane Cummins of Illinois and Kentucky, trained by Joe Anderson. Ryan Anderson is in the bike. Race 12 is only five minutes from post. They are at the post, and the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Bombed out. Goes for the lead. Diamond Man gets away second. Bobby's Bar is out third. New Age Outlaw stays toward the far outside. Heading into the first turn as Bombed Out moves up toward the rail. Gets a short lead from Bobby's Bar. Diamond Man will get a good trip in third toward the inside. Then Fox Valley Riff. New Age Outlaw followed by Red Hot Chili Dog. Big Green Machine and QC Connection who is last. Bobby's Bar was parked through the opening quarter in 27 and 4. He makes the top now by a length. Here comes Diamond Man. The Roan Colt moving up on the outside. Bombed out. Was locked in toward the rail in third. And he almost made a break. Homer Hochstetler had to quickly gather him back up to prevent him from making a bobble. Diamond Man leads it by a length to Bobby's Bar. Bombed out. Settles down third. Then Fox Valley Riff. New Age Outlaw. Red Hot Chili Dog and Big Green Machine. As they race by the half mile mark. QC Connection is off stride at the back. They got the half in 57 seconds. Diamond Man leads it by a length heading to the final turn. And Bobby's Bar is second a length and a half to Bombed Out. Fox Valley Riff goes fourth toward the inside. Red Hot Chili Dog moving up fifth on the outside of New Age Outlaw. Then Big Green Machine. QC Connection is the distant trailer at the three-quarter. Diamond Man leads Bombed Out who's moving on the outside now from second. He's a length off the lead. Bobby's Bar is third. He's trapped down toward the rail. Fox Valley Riff takes to the outside with Red Hot Chili Dog. Three quarters and 127 and three. Diamond Man leads it by three parts of a length. The bombed out. Red Hot Chili Dog angles wide. Big Green Machine goes very wide from last. Bobby's Bar needs room. It is Diamond Man leading it a length. The bombed out. Big Green Machine is coming late. Bobby's Bar can't find room. Bombed out. Big Green Machine. Diamond Man is there. And it's a photo finish for the win. Either Diamond Man or the fast closing big green machine. It's a photo finish in 154 and 4. Hold all tickets. And the result is official for race 12. Diamond Man is about to move into the winner's circle as he prevails in the photo over the seven big green machine. 154 and 4, a new lifetime record for Diamond Man. Another winner today for Dave McGee, folks. Diamond Man, Dave McGee with the winning drive. Four winners on the day for driver Dave McGee, this time with a Brian Penske trainee. Brian is the co-owner of this Cole Muffler Colt. 
owned by Shirley Levin and Vernon Shire Racing Stable, along with Brian Pinsky Stable Incorporated. Fourth lifetime start and second career win for this coal muffler bred in partnership by Brent Johnson and others. In fact, Brent is moving into the winner's circle along with Terry Hunt of Cottonwood Farm to join a happy group of owners. But we've got the winning co-owner and trainer, Brian Penske. Brian, we were talking to you back in the barn area before the races today. Would you give us your evaluation of this two-year-old pacing crop in Illinois this year? Is this a good bunch of colts? Boy, it sure looks uh, at this point like there's at least a half a dozen of them that can be there uh, next week. Um, we're just hoping that maybe one of ours can uh, be there with them. How about this colt, this diamond man? There had to be something you liked about him when you bought him as a yearling. What was it? Um, really like his pedigree. He's a coal muffler out of a very good family. Uh, Broadway Siren was a good mare herself. And uh, this colt's got a great look to him and, and looks like he'll just keep getting better. And let's hope he does. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Kurt. That's winning trainer and co-owner Brian Pinsky. The rundown is up next.